Hello everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Spirit Hunter's Infinite Horde. Today, we are jumping back in, as you can see, boom, into the next one. Uh, right after the previous video, we are heading to the hard mode version of the Viper Village. That is right. And I think we're going to still use the Ice Ring. Do we want to start with it, though? No. We are not actually starting with it this time. Why aren't we starting with it this time? Because it does three damage. It does three damage. That's not enough to get us going. We want something else. So let's see. Vine size upgrades. Earn 150 gold. Not bad. Earn 150 gold for each added tornado. Uh, let's see. Do we? What do we want to use, though? I mean, we have vines we haven't used. We have mines we haven't used. Uh, oof, 1,000 gold and they reach level 20, which would be quite interesting as well. Uh, adding tornadoes gives us gold as well. You know what? Let's go with tornadoes, uh, the ice ring. Hmm, what else do we want? We want a boss killer, of course. We'll take bone again. Ooh, you know what? Let's start with bone. Let's see that 1% chance. See if we can get a lot of those. I would be very excited. So we have the Viper Village. Uh, this is the, I literally just popped in and got blue souls are worth 10% more. I'm very, very happy for this. Look at this. 5.5 times. Oof, this is going to be a lot, a lot, a lot of the uh, delicious blue runes, which, again, don't really need right now. But at the same time, you know, it's good to know that they, they exist. Uh, fingers crossed we will get tons and tons of bones. Uh, and what else do we want? We are going for the vines. Look at that. Vines coming on out. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, they now are, they are targeted, just like before. I say they are now, but it is just like before. Let's get some tornadoes going as well. Uh, there we go. And our ice ring. Is this going to work? I do not know. I am very scared. We don't have that much in the way of uh, clear. But at the same time, vines do more damage, which is fantastic. Vines are a dot, which is the same thing as our ice ring. So if we if we get a hoodoo, we can increase both of those. Tornado will just be for survival. Hopefully our knockback is only three levels now, I believe, which is fantastic. And bone is bone. I mean, I love it. Uh, you love it. You better love it. If you don't, what's wrong with you? Start loving bone. It's amazing. Um, we are going to focus on tornadoes a bit more uh, because we do want to get their protection status online. And we are going to focus on the ice ring as well. So ice ring for safety. Everything can pretty much be frozen here, which is fantastic. And uh, look at that. Oh, there we go. Cool down for the natos. We want tons and tons of natos, of course. Uh, that is going to be a huge, huge boon for us. So let's keep that cooldown going. Uh, you can already see that the tornadoes uh, are pretty good. I mean, look at that. You know, they're they're coming out strong and fast, getting the kills. I'm at 600 gold. I don't know if I've gotten any from the bones yet. Dot damage plus six. Woo! Look at that. That's the first time seeing that one. All right, I'm just going to take that. Get some dot damage on these vines. That'll be good for the la larger enemies. But we're still going to focus on this cooldown for the tornadoes. You can already see them being shot off uh, very, very quickly, which is fantastic. And, uh, yeah, let's get some more dot damage. I want to be able to take care of the larger enemies. I am a little worried about that in the long term. Short term, I mean, we're doing just fine right now with what we have. But as you can see... The tornadoes do 25 damage, which is not a uh, small number, mind you. Uh, they were, you know, but long term, that 25 damage, not going to be stacking up to the to the later game enemies. Uh, earlier game, perfectly fine, though. Uh, let's get some more AoE on this, get our protection status going. Uh, and, oh, jeez. New enemy for this map, we have... I mean, snakes that are turrets. Turret snakes? Uh, I don't even know how to call them. Whoa! Oh, he got me. He got me. That's fine. Get frozen. Let's hopefully... Oh, he didn't... Oh, there we go. Got into the got into the vine. Uh, let's see how many purple crystals we get from a hardcore purple crystal. We shall see. What do we want here? Let's get another number. Uh, we got 12. Again, that will go through a multiplier at the end as well. So that's actually substantial. Uh, and we're at our first boss already, uh, or mini-boss. And we have, ooh, charging enemies with him. Charging snakes. 
Not too worried, not too bad, able to handle it, and this should be our last cooldown reduction for the Tornadoes, which is fantastic. Uh, I will say, 1% chance on Bone Kill, whoa, they, they can take some hits, but got our health back right away. Get some more free size, we should be getting some duration as well, it will be very helpful, but we will get that in time. We definitely want some more number. Because this number, oof. Oh, they are infreezable. I was uh, not paying attention. The larger enemies are freezable, but these charging uh, shield-bearing ones are not freezable, which, you know, should have paid attention. But that's okay. You know, we got our vines. We got everything else. I am quite happy with that. Hopefully our vines will pop again. There we go. Get our big vine dot out there on them. And you can see the knockback is actually quite substantial on these tornadoes, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. Do we want size? Do we want more knockback? How are we doing there? Uh, let's just get Ice Ring again, get that big, get that able to save our butt, because, you know, we don't want to take... I, I, I don't want to take a hit from these big guys. Now, again, on other characters, I probably wouldn't want to take a hit as much, or at all. Uh, Hugo... Definitely a lot better to take a hit with because he can take eight of them, and when he does take a hit, he does have that five seconds of immunity. So, I will say I have not gotten... Oh, there's a hit, which is fairly fine. It's actually a benefit to us because it just means things will aggro away for five seconds. Uh, especially when we're getting a chest. There should be a heart. There are two, so let's just get it. See, there was a heart on the ground, so I strategically right there, got hit so I could run around with increased speed, and then pick them up. It's a it's a little bit of a thing that you can do, especially if you know the heart is there awaiting you. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have Hardy uh, or Scoop, and or Scoop. Uh, with those two in my last run, uh, it definitely was a very different experience. I felt very, way more cocky than I do on this map. Uh, for now. We shall see how it goes by the end. As of... Oh, no, no, no. Oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. They are fast. Whoo! And I don't have the, uh, the supreme killing potential that I normally do, because this is definitely a light killing build, I would say. Uh, I'm not upset by that. I need... I really should just focus on the bones. Uh, let's just get the killed off. Uh, and then, yeah, we need to focus on the bones a bit, I think. Because right now the bones are sort of going to be our killy potential. Uh, vines as well, oddly enough, are our big killers. Uh, because if anything goes in it, it's probably going to die. That is one of the beautiful things about the vines currently. Uh, the, you know, the tornadoes, they're there for support. The ice ring is there for support. Vines, I would normally say, is there for support, but its dot damage is actually pretty substantial now. So I am 52 dot damage. I will take it. Um, so yeah, we're feeling <clears throat> pretty, pretty good. I can say, uh, yes, damage of the bone, please. I would like that more than anything else right now. Uh... Damage of bone and speed of bone. Those are the two that I want the most. Although, frosturation I do want to get a bit more of because it's it's a little lacking right now. I mean, one second versus, you know, 3.5 seconds or so. Quite a difference there. Um, so that is fine. Uh, with frostering, I will say I do feel it's set to three damage is a little low. Uh, three damage is <clears throat> is not not high in the slightest. I mean, let's be real. Three damage is a set. Oh, there we go. We need to get out of here. This is terrible. <clears throat> um, let's try and follow the vines. Lead things into these vines now. Uh, okay, good. We did survive that little phase, uh, which is fantastic. Again, Hugo does have great survival for those phases with his ability to phase and run faster. The only problem is if you're phasing and running, you are then not picking up loot. And, you know, loot is good. <laughs> I mean, just enough said there. Loot is good. Uh, I do want some pets, though. I, I would love to get some fantastic pets. Uh, have not yet found them. Don't know the map that that well. Uh, it is uh, similar to the Hinterlands map, so... But it has a lot... Ooh, big, big area. 
Let's just kill off all the small ones with this tornado. Kill off the big one. No shops either. And I would probably get a, a pet from the shop. Surprise, surprise. Uh, let's see. Ice ring. Nah, let's get another vine. Uh, seems long enough there. The duration, they do seem to last longer on the ground than they did before the patch, which is very nice. So you can get a couple more. Uh, <coughs> oh, there's a crystal. Oh, I need 40 of these. <coughs> okay, crystal time. Uh, and they put something on the ground, which means I can't directly kill it by walking near it. Yay, crystal. Um, oh, and they shoot. Okay. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I hope you die very, very soon. I have no... Oh. oh, I need more range on the bone. I need more range on the bone. That is what I need right now, more than anything else. Uh, let us re-roll to get more range on the bone. Uh, of course, the one time I don't get range on the bone. But look at this, I'm re-rolling like a madman, and it's only taking 100 gold to re-roll. <sighs> range on the bone, range on the bone. Heart of the cards, there we go. Uh, please, 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 bone. Yes. Alright, you know what, I'm going to take some damage here. Uh, damage plus 11, please... We have loads and loads of experience. Fine. I don't even care too much. I just want 40 of these things. I just want 40. Oh, jeez. This is... Alright, this is terrible. I, I need to actually start to survive yet again. Down to 2 health. That, you know, is my fault entirely. Don't get me wrong. Uh, there's nothing... That was not the game, that was me saying, I need more of these things. Please, 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 let me kill them. Please, please, please. And I'm down to one heart. So, uh, I think I'm going to die here. This is, this is terrible. This is terrible. But, that is okay. Uh, that is alright. Maybe I won't. Alright, start shooting. You follow me. Bone, bone, bone. There we go. Alright. Let's 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 get a grip. Keep shooting me. Bone, 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 boom. Just what we want to see. Nice and calm. Now that we have some, I, I've never needed range on the bone like I have with these aura enemies. So it is very a whole. There we go. That is the death. All right. That was my fault. I am gonna say. I got excited. Now I know I need range on the bone. Now I know. Oh, I feel bad for that. I didn't even kill that many. I killed 13. Look at that. I don't even know what weapons you would want. I guess spear would be good. So you know what? We're going to do that. We're going to change things up. Uh, we are going to go with the spear. I'm just going right into another run. Sorry. Just so you know, we are just going to go with another run. We're going to start with the spear. We're going back there. On to hard mode. We're going to get these dead. Spears are going to be able to kill them. No problemo. Um... Because it has that range on it, and it has that massive damage as well. Now, Spear is going to get a lot of kills for us, which is why I chose it first, which is fantastic. Uh, we will still choose Vine. We will still choose uh, pretty much everything else. Uh, but we are probably going to be dropping something, of course. And that something, in this case, will actually be the Ice. I want to see how it is without the Ice. We'll keep Tornado. Uh, tornado seemed like it was going fine. Uh, it was creating some uh, kills by, for itself uh, and all of that. So, so yes. Do, do, do. We will get our bone up. We will also increase bone's range by a teensy tiny bit, which will be fantastic, uh, before we get to the seven minute mark. Uh, you know, hey, I do apologize for getting a little overexcited. I, I, I jumped the gun. I was a fool. It was entirely my fault. I won't do it again. I'm going to prepare for it. It will be fine. It's only going to get better. Um, and as you can see, I'm taking that first range right there. We're going to get one more as well at some point relatively soon. And we're going to get AoE size of these spears. I want to get all three AoE sizes. I think it is very impactful to have as well. So let us go for that. Uh, knockback is nice. Don't really care about that nearly as much. Let us just get more spears. More spears for more kills. Uh, I think I cannot say anything wrong about these spears. They are fantastic. Oof. Yeah, all right. And we also get a pet. Oh my gosh. Look at that. A pet. 
they exist on this map. Fantastic. More cooldown on the bone. We want to get our bone, able to kill those things. Honestly, they were coming fast. They shoot really far. Uh, oh, we get some dot damage. Do we even have a dot? No, we actually don't. Oh, wait, no. Vines are a dot. Mm, but vines already do so much. So, let's try the new beacon. Uh, I have not seen him. I hear he is amazing. Uh, and, oh, oh, no. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Turn. Oh, it didn't hit me. Thank gosh. There we go. There we go. Beacon. Oh, look at that. Look at Beacon doing his beaconing. Uh, so that is Beacon. Uh, pretty cool looking to me. Uh, very, very nice. We shall see how that goes later on. He's essentially another version of our... Uh, of our phasing decoy. So... We'll draw things in. That's beautiful. I mean, I'm very happy with things being drawn to not me. Uh, you know. Oh, and there's the mini boss directly above us. Uh, this is the charging one, but it looks like it got caught immediately in the vines. Uh, and look at Beacon. Beaconing away. And, and I think those charging enemies will charge the beacon, so I'm very happy for that. Let's get our spear cooldown down. Uh, again, spears and... Uh, the bone shot are our primaries in this case. Uh, I wanted to get the spears there, but at the same time, that was the final cooldown for bone, <clears throat> which makes it as fast as possible. Ten a second. Very happy to see that. Uh, needs more damage, of course. We are not quite there on the damage front yet, but at the same time, it is uh, pretty, pretty strong. You can see it taking out these enemies. Uh, there are a lot of larger enemies. These charging enemies are a pain in the ass, let's be real. Uh, and that's a good thing. You know, you want things to be a pain in the ass. You don't want this game to be just a walk in the park at all times. And yes. Uh, oh, I think I chose the wrong one. Perfectly fine. I wanted the cooldown. It was a mistake. It happens, but it's not as impactful as it once was because of the less level requirements, which is beautiful. I am very happy for that as well. Um, another thing that is nice about not taking the Ice Spear is these enemies right here, these little uh, snakes right over there, they... Uh, they don't get frozen because they're ghosts. They're they're little invisible boys. Um, not invisible. They're well. I mean, I, I I'm assuming they're ghosts. Maybe they are just phased out or something like that. Uh, I don't know for sure. But the fact that they they don't give uh, they don't get frozen is bad because they're swarmers. You know, swarmers not getting frozen definitely bad for the ice ring. Um, not to say that the ice ring is a bad ability. I very much so like it. It's just uh, you know. You have to take the, the good with the bad, so to speak. <clears throat> we are nowhere near the uh, official uh, point of no return, which was at around seven minutes, so that is very good to see. Uh, so we have plenty of time to keep stacking up damage on our spears. Again, our bones are pretty much ready. And I think this is a good thing because we were, I was putting a lot of points into the uh, ice ring and the ice ring was completely useless on the enemies that i really wanted to kill i had no real effective way of killing them so we now have ways to kill them be it bone as well as the uh the spears themselves i mean look at that the spears are doing 180 damage it's a beautiful thing you love to see it uh i definitely was too close to that enemy on death it happens um oh look at him getting just thrust in from that uh charging enemy uh beacon you know it, it is a very noticeable effect i really do like that they did say when it happens you will notice it and they are completely right when it happens you do completely notice it and it is impactful uh, i'm not gonna say it is not uh do i prefer it over pets uh i think honestly it is i always kind of like beacon it also just feels a little not cheaty just you know not as pleasant you know it's it's just you know I, I it takes away it's like oh i needed to, i needed to rely on beacon you know i needed that thing to come and save me uh you know but at the same time the same time you could say the same thing for hardy and you could say the same for scoop uh if he's picking up hearts you can say the same thing for pretty much any of the other pets uh the other pets just make things hit harder which you know it's always fun to see bigger numbers and to kill things a little bit better. You know, all of that good stuff. Get 
Oh, jeez, oh, I keep forgetting that they explode into sixes. I need to get used to this new system. Uh, let us get a couple of hearts, hopefully, before the next uh, cycle. Again, we are killing things. I mean, look at these. Those, those charging enemies we were barely able to kill before, and now we're actually able to kill them pretty handily, thanks to our bone and our spear. Uh, level 14, level 10, and they feel good, you know. Uh, not too many levels invested into them for them to actually feel good. Now, problematically, we have not found too many hearts. Uh, we still, I mean, we don't need that many. I mean, we're only down two health, but still, you know, down two health versus not down any health at all is a very big difference. Uh, let's keep our cooldown going. We want to get that as low as possible because we want the spears to handle these ranged enemies. Uh, or swarming enemies, I should say. Uh, the tornado is doing a good job of it, I will say. But, you know, uh, when they get close up, up close and personal, the spear will be the thing that sort of saves the day. Let's... Oh, I got a chest. Looks like Scoop did some scooping. And we have a chest in there. No real means of getting in there. Although we did not get a heart from that chest. It is a shame whenever you get a chest and you don't see a heart. Uh, you kind of almost always hope there's at least one heart in a chest. Uh, not the Again, not the end of the world or anything like that. It's just one of those things that you kind of look forward to seeing. Of course, I am not able to keep track of how much gold we are getting from our spears, but our spears are getting a substantial number of kills. So, oh, and there is a mini boss, and we are up to crystal zone times two. So, look at that. Spears actually taking them out. Fantastic. Let's keep it going. Go, my spears. Kill the crystals. Yes. Okay, let's get that. We did take a point of damage, which is fine. Which is fine. Uh, we have our spears. They will... There's a lot on the screen, too. We can see so much more going on on the screen with all of these projectiles. Um, but you can also see spears are killing things. Uh, I'm going to use, uh, hopefully, this shop for hearts. Oh, there we go. Bone. There we go. Uh, oof. We are definitely feeling it for sure. Look at all this experience. It's just masses of levels. All right, let's get to that shop after this crystal. Ooh, I didn't think I got hit there. That was my fault, my fault. There we have it. Thank you, Beacon. Thank you, all the things. Boom, let's just get in here, buy some hearts, uh, uh, move speed, sure, level up knockback, I guess, let's just, let's just see how it works, you know, it is 240 damage on a level up, so boom, uh, again, nothing was really near me, so it effectively did nothing there, but, you know, it's there for the future. Uh, when we are getting towards the end of the map, I'm, I actually think it will be much more useful towards the end of the map because uh, the surrounds now, as you can see, are much greater. The surrounds are have such a bigger impact on this game than they did before. Um, I want to get above and or below them. Fantastic. Thank you, Spears. Thank you, Bones. And we are getting them killed. I will say they are quite... a an annoying hardcore enemy. Uh, they, you know, they they do aim for you. These these crystals, uh, and the fact that they aim for you does make them that much more difficult. If they, you know, with the freak with the aura, their aura is so large um, that I kind of wish they shot randomly. Uh, if their aura wasn't that large, I wouldn't mind it. But because their aura is so large. Uh, and he, especially, probably because I'm also on Hugo. Again, if their aura is only doing, like, three damage, then I don't really care if I get hit by their aura. But on Hugo, you know, that's one-eighth of your health, period. Done. Gone. Just, you know. So Hugo definitely has a detriment to the auras. Uh, again, maybe the aura does 20 damage. I have no idea. But still, I, I think that is one of the things for Hugo, uh, is that auras will always be... Semi-problematic for him. Um, oh, 
got a little hit there. Perfectly fine, perfectly fine. Uh, still, we're doing pretty okay. Uh, let's get our dot damage back up. We have not been doing that this run. I am quite okay with that so far. I think we have gotten enough kills as well. Uh, I want to say I killed about 30 of these crystals. I want to kill more, but I also want to find some hearts. I want to go exploring. Um, there we go. We still have some immunity. Let's kill that other crystal. There's so much experience, though. This is, this is actually the one detriment that I see with being surrounded so much is I want to go exploring. I want more hearts. I want more of this. Um, but all of my experience is right here. Uh, so I find it very hard to just keep moving and leaving my experience behind. So, oh, geez. I think I just got double hit as Hugo. That is interesting. Um, I don't think that's supposed to be able to happen. So I will kind of have to mark that as well. Uh, we did get a health, which is nice. Hopefully the uh, phase has passed. Nope, it has not. I just got hit. Uh, let's get out over here. Let's get to the shop. Hopefully it has a heart. Okay, two shops. Fantastic. No, 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 no. There's a heart. Good, good, good. No other heart, though. Whew, okay. All right. That is fine. That is perfectly perfect. Uh, let's just get in here. There we go. Hearts. Hearts. Please, 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 please. There we go. Fully healed up. I can relax just a little bit. Woohoo! Uh, okay. Do some dip dive dodging. Get hit a little bit because I want to. I still want to get some kills. Uh, again, I th I think I got 30. It seems like I got quite a lot, but just because it seems like I got a lot does not mean that I have got a lot. You just you just never know. Um, again, another shop, which is great. Uh, let's get some more damage on these bones. Did we finally pass Crystallandia? I think we finally passed Crystallandia. There is a heart over there. I'm gonna take a hit. And then I am going to just zoom for it. Again, there's the one really nice thing to have is the fact that you can just zoom for things. Uh, we'll take the experience. That's all we care about. Get some more levels. What do we want? Again, this critical strike by 3%. You... Mm, no, you're, you're, you're good, but it feels... It feels terrible. It feels terrible to take. 3% just does not feel fair you know i mean again cleave gets seven percent you can say well cleave has a long cooldown now but if cleave can get basically to a hundred percent and it hits 12 times well i'd rather something hitting 12 times at a hundred percent you know <laughs> i mean it's 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 substantial so don't for, don't don't ever forget that um, we do have plenty of... I should be going with size for the vines. Oh, here we go. Thank you, mini boss. I did take a hit there, but we'll get a heart from the mini boss chest. We always do. And look at this. Look at this surround that we are currently getting. Let's try and see if we can get a level in the middle and see if everything sort of just dies. All right. Uh, range. Yeah, let's get a bit more range. I didn't really see it kill anything. Again, everything was already dead around me. The, the Nomicron... It's nice. It, I, I'm. That, that's that's what I'll say about it. Uh, you know, it's not the pet for me for the future. Uh, more dot damage, yes, please. Uh, look at the. I mean, we really have a hard time moving anywhere. Uh, luckily, again, the spears are doing a fantastic job clearing stuff out. I have no doubt in my mind that they are generating gold, because, look, at the, I mean, they're killing loads of enemies at a time. It is no joke whatsoever uh, with how much they are, are killing. So, they are the prime killing force of this run. Uh, I do think they gave spears a lot of love. So, very glad to see that. Mm, more dot damage, yes please. Uh, we just want to get to this boss now. We are three minutes out. Oh, look at that experience. Look at it all. It's everywhere. Oh, and there's a mine that got popped over there, and I just, I just didn't even care. 
I'd rather get the experience than, than get the purple crystals. Go figure. Okay, there we go, there we go. Not taking hits because we don't want to, right? That's right. Uh, I was just thinking, if this was hardcore mode, I almost uh, would have wiped my save. You know, this is... Um, I'm going to be starting a hardcore mode soon. Uh, the main reason I am getting these out of the way uh, is because I wanted to... Well, I'm pre-recording this. So this is the day of the patch, just so you are aware. This will be released in the future. Um, so hello from the past, uh, as all videos are, but, you know, the distant past at least, not like the day prior or anything like that, which is my normal recording schedule. Um, so, uh, yeah, let's just keep getting number. Let's see. The damage of the uh, tornadoes is definitely coming down. Uh, was killing those in the beginning, I believe, and is not any longer, which is perfectly fine. Uh, they have served their purpose. Uh, oh, no! Oh, no! No, don't don't start up with the, with the crystals again. No! Oh, we got hit. All right, let's, let's zoom in here and see if there's any... Uh, good things to get. Uh, what do we want? Let's get a bit more range in this case. Uh, just because I am worried of these auras more than anything else. Uh, the range does allow us to hit these crystals in a much safer setting. Uh, and hopefully kill that mini boss. Get our hearts refill. Oh, there we go. Let's kill that one. Oh, look at that. Three hearts. I will happily take it. Let's zoom on out of here. Uh, unless we see, like, a pet, I am just moving, moving, moving my butt. Because we are down to one minute. And we're full health. I've not done a hard mode boss yet. So I do know they said they gave them buckets of health. Uh, so I'm a little scared. You know, surprise, surprise. Just a little bit, though. You know, the one thing I do know is the cages will no longer shrink, which is fantastic. Uh, cages not shrinking is a beautiful, beautiful thing. I think that is the best change that they have implemented. Oh, and I took a little sneaky hit. Perfectly fine. Um, I do love these snake mo uh, mother enemies where they just keep spawning little baby snakes. Great for experience. I mean, look at that. We're 72. Uh, that's essentially three maxed out weapons. I mean, this is maxed out. Bone is almost maxed out. Again, I haven't touched crit whatsoever. Uh, that'll only be 15%. Only 15% crit. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, let's finish off the range of the bone. Uh, you know, it is nice to have. Ooh. All right. All right. Let's get back on track. Not worry about things nearly as much. Let's try... And find some safety. I don't even know why I popped that. I, I don't even want the crystals. Don't even want them. Uh, oh, there's a chest there. Oh, but we're at 15 minutes. So we're going to go to the south. We're going to increase that damage. And let us see. There is the boss. Look at that. 26,000. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, we did get hit. Perfectly fine. Uh, I do want this chest pop. All right. Look at that. Any any hearts? No? That's perfectly fine. Let's get there. Alright, do your thing. There we go. Alright, we... we pff, I'm just going to stand here. Hugo can't even die to this right now. We are safe. Look at this. Done and dusted. Thank you, Hugo. There we have it. Not having that shrink? Amazing. I love it. 6,000 uh, blue runes, 400 purple crystals, 45 uh, ember, not too bad at all. And look at that. We have 800,000 damage of the spears. Bones did, you know, not even, well, a little bit more than a quarter. Tornado did a little bit more than a third. You know, Tornado was pumping out that damage too. Vines, not that much. Uh, I was expecting Vines to do a little bit more, but everything was sort of dying, so, you know, Vines actually might be taking a step back in this patch for me, which is a shame, but understandable. Um, a shame, but understandable. So, now that that is done, let's go up here. What do we have? Look at that ice ring. You're done. We unlocked it. There we go. With the power of ice, any spirit wandering too close will feel your ice blast. Well, that is actually the exact opposite as spirits are immune 
Thank you, Oracle. You've lied to me. You are a liar. Let's see. We get some size. We get some freeze damage. Ooh, that makes it four damage. We get five damage. Okay, that's that's actually substantial uh, for it. You know, going to five damage. Uh, and two more. Okay, so that uh, that makes it doable. Seven damage and ten percent more size. Uh, so that looks like that's what it gets. It just gets a little, a tiny bit more damage. Well, you know, two and a third times more damage. Uh, not too shabby there. Going from three to seven. Uh, you know, and then just a bit more size. More size, more good. So I am quite the fan. So thank you very much uh, for checking out this video. Uh, if you want to see anything else, please let me know. We will be doing a uh, heroic run of the uh, cemetery next time. That will be next. I apologize for the death. I got very excited when I saw the uh, ice things. It was entirely my fault. I'm sorry. I won't do it again. I just got a little excited. It happens. It's my first time doing the heroic mode. I'm sorry. You know, you get excited. Um, but thank you. Please like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, again, let me know if you want to see anything. I greatly appreciate it. Have a wonderful day, and happy hunting.